Hi everyone. It's a beautiful day down here in Mexico on Lake Chapala. And I've just been hearing the words, straight is the way, narrow is the way. That Jesus referred to the pathway approaching the Kingdom of Heaven, the pathway of know thyself, the pathway of forgiving the world and accepting your true self as the living Christ. It is, it is very narrow. It does seem to be narrow, not in terms of form, but in terms of content, in terms of focus and direction. That's where the purity is required. That's where the, the plan B's disappear entirely. And we could say there's only plan A, which is atonement. And uh, it's not a pathway that's just open to the masses, it's, it's really open to everyone, but it's like uh, all are called a few shoots to listen. And basically that's what this narrowing is about. And I was pausing for a moment to ponder this and I was really realizing that, that it's specialness that is legion, that uh, as they say, with this world, the devil is legion, the Beelzebub is legion. It's this narrow way of purity, of following the Holy Spirit, that it brings the mind into this expansion, and this huge awareness of reality, of how expansive reality is. Though it's been covered over, by this world of images, it's, it remains as it is and always has been. So, as we look at a pathway like A Course in Miracles, you can see that it's really just the undoing of specialness, the undoing of pride, the undoing of the personality self and the, the collection of personalities that seem to be society. It's the undoing of, of mini-me, as, as we've seen in, in the movies, Austin Power movies, it's the complete release of mini-me. And in that sense, it's not looking for recognition in terms of the world, in terms of uh, like uh, records sold, or numbers of followers, or some kind of quantitative uh, confirmation. It's not really looking for a quantitative confirmation. It's the simplicity of this moment. It's the humbleness of this very moment. It's the humbleness of the I am. And it doesn't have anything trying to uh, puff it up or make it be something in form, because it's, it's quite formless and it's quite abstract. So specialness is really giving up all the pursuits, all the outcomes, all the trivial pursuits is the way of putting it. They may not seem trivial to the ego, to the ego they seem quite important. Bigger, better, faster, more, but actually to the spirit, they are nothing. They are nothing but trivial pursuits. Pursuits of nothingness. Part of a mask, part of a self-concept mask that was made to take the place of our divine glory. So, as we approach this purification, it's really the purification in our mind. It's our purification of thoughts letting go of body thoughts, letting go of the attempt to raise body thoughts to the level of mind, which means simply believing that things in this world are causative. 
And when it comes down to body image or self-concept, you know, all this stuff about money and prestige and power and, and uh, personal glory, uh, possessions, attainment, accumulation, all these crazy trivial pursuits that really are much ado about nothing and yet to the ego they are everything. And as we wake up and agree to lay aside the ego, as we say, lay go that ego, as we let go of the ego, then there is a joyful, humble, expansive freedom that dawns that is very natural, that is just the way it is as a perfect, innocent child of God. And hallelujah for that. So, yeah, the way is narrow and let's not try to mix and match. Let's not try to uh, uh, go for feds, go for uh, the current popular flavor. Spiritual awareness, knowing who you are as the I am, is not a matter of popularity. And if you have not been able to release the guilt, don't shift your eyes looking around left and right for fads and formulas and really distractions and compromises, but just be willing to forgive, be willing to do the inner work, be willing to practice what you preach, be willing to go the distance, be willing to stay on course, keep the faith. As the Kenny Loggins song says, keep the fire bright, keep the fire bright, keep that fire. Don't take forever, take it through the night and believe the sun will rise with the dawn. That's all you need to go on. So for tonight, just keep the fire bright. Do not be tempted into distractions that you could ever possibly ask for. Do them. As Jesus says with the introduction to the workbook lessons, it's not necessary you understand them, you may actively resist these lessons, uh, this will not matter. You are only asked to do them and it's doing the lessons that bring about the experience. Don't be tempted to abandon what was given you. Don't be tempted to look far beyond for something else. Don't be tempted to label something and dismiss it when the golden light of heaven shines in that which is right before you. Right before you, right under your nose, right here and now is everything that you need. Don't wander off. Don't delay. Do not be tempted to make up another way, to make up a spirituality. Don't try to mix and match. Don't try to add and subtract. Practice. Put it into practice. Face it. Face whatever uncomfortable emotions you're feeling. Face them head on and be willing to give them over to the Holy Spirit. It's really very, very direct. It's very, very pointed. There's no wiggle room. There's no need to compromise. You need to really stay the course and keep the faith. Because this is about integrity. And you will only find integrity, complete integrity, by 
transferring the training of these beloved miracles lessons. No, not by making exceptions to them, by transferring the training. Because evolutionary journey inward to enlightenment is not about the differences, it's about the sameness. It's about the similarities and the sameness of spirit. Be not tempted to look for differences. Nothing so blinding as perception of differences. Nothing so simple and happy and joyful as sameness. Make this year different by making it all the same.